What is going on, people? Tomorrow we start cooking with gas. Uh, there's a lot of folks who send me a bunch of questions and I will try to address them tomorrow. But I want to talk about my day. And I want to share some with you guys. Today I bought two more cars to replace the two that I lost. And different methodology. I got some really, really good cars. And I've learned a lot in these last three months. Really, because this is the conclusion of my third month. Tomorrow we move into my fourth month and I feel that August is going to be amazing. Um, I did 17, almost 18,000 this month. And if it wasn't for the Yardbird contingency, I would have did 22, 23, maybe 24. So next month is going to be a much better month. Uh, we've got our GPS kill switches. The two cars I bought Monday morning, they're going to get their GPS kill switches. Uh, one I got to pick up Monday. And one of the things I've learned you guys are being bombarded with messaging that says that you can start a business and make a lot of money with little to no effort. And then when you see me sweating bullets, taking L's, and you're like, but Glendon, all these other guys told me I don't have to do nothing, I can get the bag. Ladies, gentlemen, the reality is most of these guys on YouTube will not teach you how to make any money even if you paid them. You want to know why? Because of their messaging. See, there's a whole industry called marketing that is designed to get you to buy <clears throat> whether <clears throat> the product actually helps you or not. Yesterday, I did a live stream <clears throat> and I got like 400 bucks in super chats from grateful people based upon the information I put on this YouTube channel. Jeremiah, some other people, I appreciate you guys. And <clears throat> I feel that the time is ripe for corporate citizens to start standing up. <clears throat> so we're gonna start minting corporate citizens. We're gonna start teaching people how to set up your proper corporate structure. Very, very important. <clears throat> also, the price is going to go up tomorrow night. So there will be some information down below and it'll be a promo code where you can get in and go ahead and start setting yourself up, setting your future up to win, to be successful. Because <clears throat> essentially, um, I've learned so much. I've learned so much. And like, I've, I've gotten a lot of questions. It's like, where's the 150 payment plan? Where's the 150 payment plan? Before last year, I did payment plans and about 90% of the people completed the payment plan. What I saw with the corporate toolbox was a lot of people sign up and like half stop paying. Now that isn't a problem because once you stop paying, you don't have access to the content. So essentially I want committed action takers because you see me, you know, I'm out here sweating bullets and running around. I, I got yard birds playing games and stuff. And you're, you're confused because there's no one, there's not that many people who are messaging that starting a business in the beginning, is going to be hard. No one's saying that you want to know why? Because if they said that, you wouldn't listen to them because you would tune them out because you, you, you want most like going back to marketing. Marketing is designed to get you to buy whether the product is good or not. If I was a slimy type of person, I could be making millions up here putting out false information. I show you guys my pay stubs. I show you my ATM receipts. I show you I show you receipts. I show you proof of the things that I say work. And some of you are amazing. Some of you are amazing people. Some of you are going to be millionaires in the future. I can feel it. And when I say the future, I'm talking about two, three, four, five years in the future, not next week, 
next month, or even next year. But some of you are fucking amazing. And I really appreciate you guys because we're gonna build this corporate community together. And there's some of you who are a little unsure because you're, you're, you, you're, you're hearing all of this messaging that starting a business could be easy. You, and you're, you're, you're like, you're confused. And you're like, ah, Glendon, I know what you're saying and I appreciate you and I like you, but he's saying this and she's saying this and she's saying this and their Instagram page is lit. Let me tell you about these Instagram pages. The majority of these Instagram pages are financed. I guarantee if you picked your favorite Instagram person or your favorite YouTuber and said, hey, could you pay $325,000 cash to start your car rental business, 99% of them would be like, no, I can't do that. If they were being honest. But their Instagram page is lit. It's hot. It's hot. They got all of the, the little twin. That's marketing, man. That's marketing. That's marketing. So we're going to talk about marketing and we're going to talk about building businesses and we're going to talk about corporations. We're going to talk about trust. And some of the questions was like, will I have lifetime access? Let me tell you how the course, the, the platform that I use works like hustlers Kung Fu. You cannot access it if you're new, but if you're already there, your content, your training is still there. I just don't have to pay for that website anymore because I'm not promoting it. And the same thing with the B school for hustlers and going forward, that's going to be my active primary uh, training platform and that with the savage financials. And yes, you will have access to these courses forever and ever like textbooks that you, you know, and that's kind of funny because some of you got your textbooks from 20, 30 years ago. When's the last time you read that textbook? <laughs> When's the last time you read that textbook? No time recently, I would assume. So we're going to be doing that. We're going to be cooking with gas. There's going to be some swag. And essentially, I'm excited because I'm building something new. Like I'm redoing the corporate toolbox and, re you know, corporate papers is going to be something totally different. And it's going to be more relevant and it's going to be more digestible for the average person because a lot of people don't understand that many of your favorite stocks are holding companies. There's a reason that they're holding companies. And I'm going to break down the holding company game tomorrow in the webinar, 5 p.m. So that's why you want to sign up so you can attend this webinar. And we're going to do training pretty much on the weekends because I am now back up to 26 cars and the car rental business is a full-time gig. It's not, there ain't nothing passive about it at scale. If you got one, two, three cars, yeah, it could be semi-passive, something like that. But you got 20 cars, it ain't passive. So um, the live training will be on the weekends. And then the other training I will do during the week and I will send you messages that, hey, this training is here. And we're going to be more professional I got my assistant. Uh, a lot of people were saying that they couldn't get in their account. Oh, for all you folks who signed up with a dummy email. Okay. What's a dummy email? A, a dummy email that if you email it, it comes back email undeliverable because you don't want me sending you messages. Well, I ain't gonna worry about you. You know, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to figure out how to get it back into it. Because if you send us a dummy email, um, I ain't gonna worry about you because I have been trying to make people become better and successful. And a lot of people don't want to hear that. They want to hear this bubble gum, this fantasy, this easy credit. Like I'm going to teach you guys how to develop your credit and develop your business credit. And it ain't going to happen in a few months. You're looking at one to three years to develop your business credit. No one is saying this because, you would not listen to them. They wouldn't get the views on their YouTube videos if you were telling them the truth, but I can tell you the truth. And as a testament for me telling the truth, like I said, some of y'all are amazing. 
Some of you are good, wonderful, hardworking people that are looking for the missing pieces and we're gonna fill in those missing pieces. And the yard birds and the haters and the moist people, fuck you. You get a big fuck you from me to you because you're a little scared, little moist, little bitch that ain't gonna do shit in life, ain't gonna have shit in life, and all you do is come here to be disruptive like these yard bird renters who are tearing up my fucking rental cars. That's who you are. You're destruct, you demo people because you don't feel, because you have an inferiority complex and when you see a dominant masculine man living life on his terms, it just troubles you. It, I mean, it, 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 it's just like, oh my God. I want to be him so bad. I hate him. I hate him. And you can keep hating because the more you hate, the greater I'm going to become. Because see, my people, this is just the beginning. Remember my pledge to create 50,000 corporate citizens? We're going to do that. We're going to do that. We may even increase it to 100,000 because for every corporate citizen that I create or help get to where they need to go to creating a business that generates 250,000 a year, I impact wives and children and husbands and employees. So for every person that I help become a corporate citizen, I impact 10 to 50 more people. You see what I'm saying? This is why I'm excited. I'm excited because I finally feel that I got the, the right sauce. I feel that I'm, I, 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 we, we're cooking with gas, man. We're going to be cooking with mass. And for those of you who are emailing me that your money ain't right, I understand. But with that said, I'm not running a charity. Funny story. I got cars that people are waiting for, literally waiting. I had a guy who had a car from Hire Car, and when I got my car back, he reserved my BMW and took that car he had back to the other person. And he's been, this has happened over and over again. See, I under, I'm not going to wait until you get your money right. I would be waiting a long time. I'm Just like I got like one guy, he wanted to pour cyan. He was trying to work me and he was like, he, he messaged me. He was like, Hey, I'm looking for the Porsche. Where is it? I was like, it's rented. Oh, you think I'm going to be just sitting around waiting for you to do what you need to do? Come on, let's grow up people. Like I understand if your money isn't correct, I understand things, things happen. This is life. I understand that. However, I got to keep moving and I can't wait on you to get your money together. So the answer to that question is no, if you miss out and um, we, you know, I will sleep on that. I will think about that. But tomorrow night, the pricing goes up because we're starting. We're going to start off with the first webinar. We're going to start off with the training. We're going to start cooking with gas and I'm going to teach people the corporate game, the credit game, the management game, the branding game and the marketing game. Uh, someone asked me to do a video about marketing. Okay. Marketing isn't something that you can do one video. Marketing is a process. Let me give you an example. Uh, one of the things like how, how many of you have Geico auto insurance? Whenever you call up Geico, they're like, am I speaking to, and they say your first and last name, every one of them do it because this is part of marketing. It is part of marketing and it's part of their brand. And uh, this is my name is such and such. I'm your military specialist. Thank you for your military service. And then they're very professional. They're very nice. And they always end the call with, well, this is Brittany. Hopefully I was helpful and provided you with excellent service. And they always do because they've been trained and that's part of their marketing and that's part of their branding. And that's why they are like a multi-billion dollar per month company. So we're going to get into that. This is stuff that no one talks about on YouTube. You know what they talk about? How to develop passive income, how to not talk to the customer, how to ignore the customer. And once again, when I had my business to upscale garage sale, 
I had people literally waiting for us to open up. I don't care if it was raining. I don't care if it was snowing. I don't care if it was ice on the ground. One day, this, this pretty Mexican girl, she slipped on ice and busted her ass. And I was like, I hope she's okay and I hope she don't sue me. They came back over and over and over. And I'm starting to see similar behavior with Mac Daddy Autos. I got people who have rented from me three, four, five times. They keep coming back. You want to know why? I do simple stuff that a lot of owners don't do. When you rent a car from me, it comes with a full tank of gas. You rent a car from me, it's been washed. You rent a car from me, if it has an oil change. You rent a car from me and something happens, I take it to a mechanic. A lot of owners cannot do that because they're listening to these YouTubers and Instagram people on how to secure the bag and not, and they're actually half, they're not even half stepping. They're quarter stepping. They're not even half stepping, they're quarter stepping. So you got people out here who are trying to rent cars who don't have an operating budget. They don't have any money for repairs and they're just operating on a shoestring and a prayer. And one girl told me, She's like, she was like, when she came up, she actually got one of the BMWs. She's like, it's got a full tank of gas and it's clean. And she said, you different. I was like, well, I'm here to help you make money. You need a good serviceable, good car, operating car, clean car to make money. You make money, you pay me money. It works. It's, she said, yeah, she said, a lot, of them, a lot of them, they just be running trash. She's had that car for eight weeks now. So I'm going to teach you because no one here on YouTube talks about repeat business. Because see, once you get a customer and you get that customer to spend with you over and over and over and over, that's where you make a lot of money. Because the acquisition of new customers is very expensive. So you get someone in your system and they spend money with you. No one on YouTube talks about that because they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to do it, man. All they know how to do is play with your emotions, toy with your emotions, put up fantasy systems and processes that you gotta pay, you know, two, three, four, five thousand dollars for, and you pay, and they never actually tell you what you're what, they're, what you're gonna be doing. Because you know it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit. They don't know how to develop a branded business that gets repeat customers. I've been doing this three months and it's already happening with Mac Daddy Autos. No one, you, they ain't talking about that because they don't know how to do it. All they know how to do is play on the gram, drive a rented or a finance Lambo or rented or a finance Mercedes and flex on the gram and tell you bubble gum, popcorn, blow smoke up your booty to get your money to buy their course. Because they don't know how to build a real business. See, this is what we're going to do as corporate citizens. We're going to be building real businesses that make real money. I know a lot of you moist men, you little moist men, you see me, you seen pictures of the chicks I date, and you just like, I hate that Glendon Cameron. Actually, you don't hate me. You hate your punk ass self because you ain't worth shit. And you ain't working on making yourself a valuable human being in the world. You just sitting at home trying to rent seek, make a lot of money by absolutely doing not a damn fucking thing with your punk ass. And you see me winning over and over and over and over. And from my, my so-called fan frenemies, they're, they pretend to be fans, but they're really haters. I got people in there talking about like, oh, I do $35,000, $40,000 a month. <laughs> I do that in a fucking day, bitch. Check my resume. I make more in a fucking day than you make all month long. But you trying to school me on something. You really need to pay attention because I'm your daddy. And daddy knows best. Because if I can make in one fucking day what you make in the whole month, you should be listening to me versus trying to argue with me, trying to make yourself feel like you're superior. Because see, I am a real business person. I can see the bullshit a mile away. 
and a lot of you who pretend to be smart in releasing and refinancing cars because you don't make enough fucking money. That's the truth. Yeah, you got a good credit score and you have a high income and that enables you to leverage a lot of things. <laughs> Congrats to fucking Lation, but you ain't rich nor wealthy. And I'm going to teach people how to become rich. You got to become rich first because rich gives you the access to becoming wealthy. And this is what we're going to do with these corporate citizens. So all you little moist, little frenemies and little hating men, I, I just laugh at you because I'm going to put some more receipts up on my community page. I got credit cards where I can buy cash for a car. I can swipe my car because I bought a car with my credit card today. And the guy was like, it went through. He was like shocked. He was like, yeah, I got I got I got OK credit. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I've never had anyone buy a car this expensive with a credit card. He's like, and I've done it twice with him. And he, 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 he each time he's just shocked. He's just shocked because, see, I'm building real. And I, I bought it with my corporate car. I didn't buy it with one of my personal cars. I'm not using my personal cars for this. And there, there's a distinct reason I'm going to teach you these guys because you never want to compromise because essentially you know my personal credit like say I get laid up again or some and I need I got that that's my fallback plan I got cash and all other stuff but essentially I'm gonna teach you how to be a real boss that makes real money with real money management systems we're gonna go through a whole bunch of things so tomorrow is gonna be uh, I got one Toro person coming back at 1130 she seems like she's going to be punctual. I have a feeling she's going to show up. And um, that's it for tomorrow. Because the majority of my cars are rented out and everyone renewed this weekend. They're going to keep them the next week. So no cars are coming out. Week long rental is going out Monday and we're going to start cooking gas. We're moving into the office. I'm going to get my assistant. Uh, I got to take one of the cars for a GP kill switch. Got to pick up another car and Another car I'm interested in, I gotta wait because it's a private seller. And private sellers are not professional salespeople, so I fully expect to hear from this guy Tuesday. So we will see about that. But we we're gonna be cooking with gas. So if you want to be part of the corporate experience, you want to be part of this corporate life, go do yourself a favor, go below and get into the corporate papers. I promise you, you're not gonna regret it. And like I said, tomorrow night, the price is going up. So this is the time to get in. And going back to last year, when I introduced the corporate toolbox, people got in for 1500 because they took action when I dropped it out. Then I raised the price to 2500 Then I raised the price to 3000 Then I raised the price to 4000 I raised the price to 5000 And that kind of topped out. So you want to get in now, okay? You want to get in now. You don't want to dilly dally. You don't want to play around. You want to get in now because we got a better system and we're going to serve you well. Because just like uh, I got some of you who have bought virtually everything I put out since the storage auction day. So for that, I thank you. I appreciate you. You good, fantastic people because we're building a community of building a real fucking community, a real fucking team of doers and action takers. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And we're going to do more. We're going to build more. We're going to create a community. Uh, give me the next week to get the Facebook group set up. Uh, I'm going to get that set up because I had to start a new Facebook page <laughs> and all this other stuff. But you want to go ahead and get in before tomorrow night. I'm just saying. So links below. I will see you guys in the next one.